pretend that you don't know what imposition means anymore. That it's not an act of volition where you impose something of some kind. You, you affect somebody else's life, usually for a selfish interest. Not because you're doing something generous or doing something to benefit, to accomplish some purpose, but merely for your own purposes. The need doesn't exist in the world. So that's the fundamental first problem here, is that if you don't create the need, nothing is harmed, nothing is hurt, no potential is lost because there's no potential necessary. It's a function of the universe. The universe doesn't need anything, and we're pretending that we're a gift to it. And the argument's just simply being made that, no, you can't make a food it can eat. And I know you want to do that. You want to be able to validate yourself and say, yes, we are food for the universe. Yes, we are functional. Yes, we are purposeful. Yes, we are meaningful. Yes, we do do something. You want that to be true. But it's just a practical fact that it can't be true because there is no need until we show up to make it. Consumption, that's what it is. Reproduction, cannibalism, addiction. The word imposition. You don't know what the word imposition means anymore? Life isn't an imposition. The imposition is connotative because it's already placing a negative value on life itself. It's not placing it on life itself. It's placing it on the act of creation itself, that it's a high-risk act. I mean, again, if somebody builds a nuclear power plant in their backyard, it's not automatically a disaster. It doesn't automatically mean I'm going to get irradiated, but it certainly does mean that he's exposed me to the risk of it. All right, and that's the imposition. The wind could blow the right way and I don't get freaking imposed upon, but the fact is I'm exposed to the risk. If the wind blows the wrong way, my life is ruined. That's the imposition. You can't see how that's obviously an imposition of risk. It's an active, deliberate, knowable, quantifiable, probabilistic activity. It's not unknown, it's not mysterious, it doesn't happen by accident, it doesn't happen by force. It happens by going through a neurology that says somehow this is something I should do. I should let life loose on Mars. I should build Tyrannosauruses and build victims and put them on Mars so they can predator and prey each other to death forever. And there'd be something wise about that. I should implant fish in the oceans of some faraway planet so those fish can chase each other forever. No, I shouldn't do that. The idea is that denotation, denotation is saying just that. It's saying, here's a child, here's sperm, here's ovum, here's a child, the child born into the world. Now, the connotation is that that life sucks, that that life is full of negativity and what people are saying is, is that what life is, is a bag of experiences. If you could go to the store and you had to actually, ahead of time, buy your life experience, you knew what you were going to get. Here's the cancer, the this, the that, all in a pile over here. Here's the good stuff over here in a pile over there. Purchase your good stuff by buying it with the bad stuff. So the bad stuff is the currency you have to pay to get the good stuff and we'd have to just equal it out and apportion it. And if you found out what you were actually paying for your good times, you probably wouldn't buy them. And that's the argument being made. And all actions that are self-motivated, that implicate somebody else, are subject to being reasonably called imposing.